Our original concept differed slightly from our final event. We had planned to have multiple people dress up as the iconic characters from the children's illustrated books, Where's Wally, and walk around Swanson Street from Flinders Street Station to Melbourne Central. Being a well-known publication with a recognisable goal to always find Wally, we thought it would be a perfect way to get members of the public involved in our event. Passers-by would be able to take photos of or with Wally and the other characters and upload them to the social media platform of their choice with the hashtag FanWally, through which we would easily be able to measure public participation. With this model, we also plan to integrate the use of the locator app Geoloki, where public participants who knew about the event as advertised through social media would be able to track the locations of the Wallies along Swanson Street to help find them. The documentation collated prior to our event was managed evenly throughout our group. Files from meeting minutes to conceptual designs of a potential information store to inquiry emails were kept and saved to a shared Google Drive. Unfortunately, the Where's Wally concept fell through due to copyright infringement for the use of the title and character's likeness, and we decided to change our idea immediately after we knew we would have to seek approval from an international company for permission to host the event. Rather than scrap the idea completely, we decided to adapt and keep a similar concept but make the event more local, restricted to within RMIT University's campus. Still aiming to attract people with a distinctive costume, we decided to hire a teddy bear costume with the hope people would still want to take photos with the character as much as if he were Wally. The use of the Geoloki app was also abandoned, as we were roaming around a smaller area, mainly that of RMIT's Bowen Street. The event took place on Wednesday 17th of September. We've had two different posters prepared and printed five of each versions in A4 and 15 of each in A5. Posters were put up in Building 9 Stairways, Front Gate, Columns on Bowen Lane and Building 8 Cafeteria and Walls at the Hub. Flyers were randomly given to passers-by on Bowen Lane, Building 8 Cafeteria and Swanson Street between Latrobe Street and Franklin Street outside RMIT buildings. We also prepared gummy bears in a bowl to be given out to participants. The event ran from 1 o'clock to 3 o'clock. We started the event one hour later than when we scheduled due to an unexpected circumstances on public transport. One of us dressed in the bear costume since we were not able to find volunteers to be the bear. The rest of us walked with the bear and asked passers-by to participate in our event. Areas the bear appeared including Building 9, Level 2 Cafeteria, Bowen Lane, The Hub, Building 8 Cafeteria, Swanson Street between Latrobe Street and Franklin Street outside RMIT buildings, Building 80, Level 7 Balcony and Franklin Street outside Building 14. A lot of people were keen to have a free hug and a photo to be taken by us and would like to have their photos uploaded on our Facebook page, yet most of those we asked refused us and chose to ignore. Since the costume we used was not exactly the same as the bears shown on each versions of our posters, a number of those saw our flyers shown little disappointment when they saw the real bear. However, due to low traffic on campuses, less than 30 photos were taken and almost all the photos were only uploaded by us. Although we had copyright issues with the original plan, which was dressing up as Wally from Where's Wally, we changed our plan slightly and kept an event running. We had prepared everything on time, except the event started late due to an unexpected circumstance, and the event ran smoothly as well. We managed to get people engaged with our event, and we had some achievements. What was unsuccessful? The appearance of our character was not as attractive as shown on either one of the posters. We were technically unable to prepare the costumes that look exactly like the mascot. 2. The event time was not chosen carefully. We considered the availabilities of each group members, but we could have picked a better time. That would have been more traffic on campuses and better for us. 3. How we promoted the event was not effective enough. Our event had low awareness compared to other groups. We could also give thought better to ways we could reward participants instead of giving out gummy bears. Though our event was moderately successful in regards to people interacting with the bear and taking photos, we really suffered with online participation, which was a result of us not utilising social media to the best of its ability, as we could have done many things differently. Things we could have done more effectively include creating our Facebook page at an earlier date, which we didn't as a result of our group going through an idea change. 
If we had done this, then we would have had more time to release information about the event, allowing us to be more calculating with how we would promote the event. We could have explained the idea of the event much more, and we could have given more details as to when the event was taking place, who would be there, and what to look out for. Considering we had issues with participants sharing the event online themselves on the day, our biggest issue was not promoting the hashtag of the hashtag found the bear heavily enough, which is something we definitely would redo. As well as being more effective in explaining what to do after taking a picture with the bear to people who participated spontaneously on the day. We should have posted on our page more regularly to try and get people involved with the project as well as keeping the event in our followers consciousness and opposed to them just forgetting about it after they liked the page. Lastly, there may have been something within the concept of our event itself that we could have altered in order to draw in more participation from the public on the Facebook page instead of us asking our followers to just simply post a photo in which they wouldn't really reap any benefit from something that the people could actually engage in and interact with and would genuinely stimulate and provide entertainment for the participants promoting higher degrees of engagement. Mirroring sentiments previously expressed, we really struggled with the luring co-creators to be involved with our project. However, through this challenge of our group, most certainly learned that the participants are more likely to become invested with co-creation if the idea has more depth or meaning to it. We noticed this with people happy to approach the bear when they thought it had something to do with Are You OK Day and they were interested in spreading the message of positivity online. We also learned that people really only want to participate when they can foresee strong benefits for themselves. We are considering constructing a website, most likely through the free web development website Wix. We decided that this would be the best format to use as it accommodates text, images, video, etc. while allowing us to link other sources such as Facebook and Twitter. In our experience during the event, we were asked a number of times if our event was for Are You OK, a charity which aims to assist those with depression. Despite this not being the case, we thought that if this event were to continue, it would be a fantastic idea to connect it with this charity. As such, the idea of prototype and website would be to connect with the Are You OK website, potentially drawing in more attention to future events, broadening the scope and participation. Content we propose to put on the website are a gallery of photos from the event including selfies as well as the photos taken of the event and process. The video we put together, information about the event and how it came about, links to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, information on how people can get involved, a selfie generator and at this point in time the main issue with the prototype is that it doesn't currently exist, something we will rectify in the near future.